1. Right any two advantages of bioenergy. Answer, two advantages of bioenergy, it maintains an polluted environment. It reduces the carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere. 2. What is redshift? Answer, redshift is the displacement of the spectrum of an astronomical object toward longer, red, wavelengths. It is generally attributed to the Doppler effect. 3. Name the two important non-metallic oxides which cause acid rain. Answer, sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides, for mentioned the properties of silica due to which it is used as sand bath in laboratory. Answer, fused silica and natural sand have similar behavior. Especially for stress strain behavior. Fused silico can be used to model natural sand under a low confining pressure condition. An appreciable breakage is noticed in fused silico once the confining stress exceeds 300 kPa. 5. State the modern periodic law. Answer, this law states that physical and chemical properties of the element are periodic function function of their atomic number. 6. Laurentia fibers are used in coir industries to make gunny bags and ropes. Give scientific reason. Answer, Sclerantia fibers are flexible and elastic hence they are used in coir industries to make gunny bags and ropes. 7. What is annealing of glass? Answer, annealing of glass is the process of slowly cooling hot glass objects after they have been formed, to relieve residual internal stresses introduced during manufacture. 8. Name the color obtained when niferic compounds, 2. Cobalt compounds are added to the mixture of molten glass. Answer, the ferrous oxide imparts a green color to glass and ferric oxide imparts a very light yellow tint. Cobalt compounds impart dark blue color. 9. What is pulping? How is an uncoated paper converted into coated paper? Answer, the process of making pulp, especially from wood for use in the manufacture of paper, cardboard, etc. is called pulping. Coated papers contain a layer of coating material on one or both side. The coating materials of pigments and fillers help to improve the printing surface of the paper. Tan lymph plays an important role in protecting immune system of the body. Justify this statement. Answer lymph is the fluid that removes cellular waste products, pathogens, and dead blood cells from the tissues. Lymphocytes present in lymph destroy the harmful pathogens. 11. Differentiate between Caucasoid man and Mongoloid man based on their physical features. Answer, the Caucasoid have pale reddish white to olive brown skin color. Among the Caucasoids. Head is generally long to broad and short and medium to high to very high. Among the mongoloids, the skin color ranges between saffron to yellow brown, while some individuals have reddish brown skin color. The mongoloids head is predominantly broad and medium high. 12. What is forward biasing and reverse biasing of a diode? Answer in electronics. Biasing me answer applying DC voltage to an electronics device to establish certain operating conditions. A PN junction is said to be forward biased when the external D.C voltage applied in such a direction that it cancels the potential barrier, hence, permitting the current flow. A PN junction is said to be reverse biased when the external D.C voltage applied to the junction is in such a direction that it increases the potential barrier. 13. What are extrinsic semiconductors? Name the two types of extrinsic semiconductors. Answer. Extrinsic semiconductors are semiconductors that are doped with a specific impurity. The impurity, in turn, modifies the electrical properties of the semiconductor and makes it more suitable for use in electronic devices such as diodes and transistors. There are two types of extrinsic semiconductors. 
14. Sodium, Na, Magnesium, Mg, Aluminium, Al, and Silicon, C, are arranged in the decreasing order of their atomic size. Which element has the highest ionization energy among them? Justify your answer or scientifically. Answer, ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from an atom. The more attracted the electrons are to the nucleus, the harder it is to remove the electron. A higher atomic number, then, which corresponds to higher number of protons and electrons, would mean a higher ionization energy and hence the ionization energy increases along a period so magnesium has highest ionization energy. 15. Hydroponic and aeroponic methods are gaining significance in space research organizations. Give two reasons for this. Answer, cultivation of plants by placing the roots in the nutrient solution without any soil is called hydroponics. It is also known as soilless culture slash water culture slash solution culture. When the plants are grown without soil in an artificial medium, the technique is called as aeroponics. This allows the plants to be cultured and survive in the space when the plant is supplied with proper nutrients. The plants can grow and survive without soil in any place. Thus, the research on the plants can be performed in space and on the surface of the other planets. 16 Herb and people should be encouraged to take up the practice of rooftop gardening. Justify. Answer, a roof garden is a garden on the roof of a building. Besides the decorative benefit, roof plantings may provide food, temperature control, hydrological benefits, architectural enhancement, habitats or corridors for wildlife, recreational opportunities, and in large scale it may even have ecological benefits. 17. What is fermentation? Give one example. Answer, fermentation occurs when a microorganism, such as yeast or bacteria, converts carbohydrates into another chemical. Yogurt is made from fermented milk. Yogurt is created through the combined action of the bacteria Streptococcus lactis and Lactobacillus bulgaricus or Lactobacillus acidophilus. These bacteria consume the sugar in the milk called lactose, curdle the milk and create the chemicals lactic acid and acetaldehyde, which give yogurt its distinctive taste. 18. Explain alternation of generations in bryophytes. Answer. The haploid phase, N, is the gametophyte or sexual generation. It bears the sexual reproductive organs which produce gametes, that is, Anthrozoids and eggs. With the result of gametic union a zygote is formed which develops into a sporophyte. This is the diploid phase, 2N. The sporophyte produces spores which always germinate to form gametophytes. During the formation of spores, the spore mother cells divide meiotically and haploid spores are produced. The production of the spores is the beginning of the gametophytic or haploid phase. The spores germinate and produce gametophytic or haploid phase. The spores germinate and produce gametophytes which bear sex or ganser. 19. Explain the expressway and Syrian stroke of a petrol engine. Answer, at the end of the compression stroke when the piston is at TDC a premetered quantity of diesel is injected into the cylinder by the injector. The temperature inside the cylinder is very high which is sufficient to ignite the fuel injected and this generates tremendous energy which is in the form of high pressure which pushes down the piston. The connection rod carries this force to the crankshaft which turns to move the vehicle. At the end of power stroke the piston reaches the BDC. 20. What is biotechnology? List any two advantages and two limitations of biotechnology. Answer A. The advantages of biotechnology include curing infectious diseases, creating more efficient fuels and increasing farming yields to feed more people.
Disadvantages of biotechnology include antibiotic resistant bacteria, new allergic reactions and higher prices for farmers. 21 Why did Mendel choose pea plants for his experiments? Give any four reasons. Answer: Mendel selected the green pea for his experiment due to following reason. It can be easily grown or in the garden flower pot. The lifespan of this plant is very short and it completes its life cycle in one year. Its many generations can be studied and in less time easily. Its flower are bisexual. 22 State Mendel's Law of Independent Assortment Answer: Mendel's Law of Independent Assortment states that when two pairs of traits are combined in a hybrid segregation of one pair of characters independent of the other pair of characters. 23 State Hubble's Law Answer: Hubble's Law states that the recessional velocity of a galaxy, V, is equal to the product of the Hubble's constant, H, and the distance to that galaxy, D. Or V equals HD. 24 A satellite is to be launched from the surface of the Earth. Name the factors on which the escape velocity of the satellite depends. Answer. Factors on which the escape velocity of the satellite depends are center of mass and radius. 25 Multi stage rockets reduce the fuel consumption. How? Explain. Answer. Multi-stage fuel system consists of various tanks mounted or fitted on rocket. These tanks are capable of storing thousands of liter of fuel and up increases size and weight of empty tank. If single stage fuel system is used then rocket has to carry the weight of tank throughout the journey and that me answer after a point of time dead weight increase that is not of any use. Instead of using single-stage fuel system, it is better to use multi-stage system in which fuel tanks are used stage by stage and empty tanks are being detached from rocket that decrease weight to be carried. And as we know lesser the weight higher the efficiency. Thus rockets are occupied with multi-stage fuel system. 26 Explain how a neutron star is formed. Answer. Neutron star results from the death of massive stars, which are around 8-15 times more massive than our Sun. When a massive star collapses and explodes in a tremendous supernova explosion, the dense inner core is all that remains. When the dying star is collapsing, the core gets progressively denser. Eventually, the elementary particles in the core, protons and electrons, cannot withstand the force of gravity and they fuse together to form neutron. Eventually all of the material in the core is converted into neutrons and the origin of the object name become obvious. 27 In which stage of the star, does nuclear fusion reaction begin? Answer: Fusion is the combining of atomic nuclei into larger atoms. The process releases huge amounts of energy. We achieve it currently only atomic bombs that use a fission nuclear reaction driver and at a very small and temporary scale with laser implosion of tritium. In stars the driving force is the gravitational force of the star's mass. Thus, a star's nuclear fusion processes may be said to...